Welcome to Premium Press Themes. Today, we're going to be setting up the main menu and navigation for your Premium Press website. So let's get started. To begin, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. On the left hand side, under Appearance, we click on Menus. This is the main menu system for WordPress and all of the Premium Press themes use the main menu system. Within all of our themes, we have four different menu types. We have top links, main navigation, footer links, and a mobile device menu. Let me quickly explain where these are applied. If we take a look at one of our test websites, we have three at the top. So we have the main navigation here, the top links. So this refers to the top links. The main navigation is this section here on the main bar here. We have footer links that are applied obviously in the footer. So these are the links that are applied here. And the mobile device menu is the menu you see when you shrink the website. And the mobile device menu is here on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and customize each of these menu options. Firstly, to use the WordPress menu system, it's very simple. You create a new menu by clicking create new. You give it a menu name. So let's start with the top links. We click create menu. And now we assign it to the top links. So you assign this one to the top links, which was basically saying that we're going to edit the top link section here. So we click save again. And now we apply the menu items to the links from the left hand side. So if we wanted to apply, for example, the blog, scroll down, select blog, click add to menu. And obviously the blog section is now visible in the main structure section here. If we click save menu, go back to the website and give it a refresh. You can now see the top links have changed and we now have a new menu option. Okay, now let's take a look at the main menu. Let's change this and let's set it up for multiple languages as well. So firstly, let's set up the option for multiple languages. So in the admin, we click on premium press. We click settings. We scroll down, we click on languages. Now we're going to enable the language switcher. So we turn on language switcher and then we select a multiple languages that we want. So we could English, Spanish and French. So let's just start with those three and we click save settings. Now, what will happen is if I go back to my WordPress dashboard, I go back to appearances, menus. If I scroll down, you'll notice my menu settings have been extended with additional options. So let me quickly explain those. You can see we have this top links, main navigation and footer links as we did previously. And you'll see next to it, it says ENUS, which refers to English. We now have another set of sections called top links, main navigation, etc. But there is an ES, ES next to it, which refers to the Spanish language. And underneath that, we have the top links FR, 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 which refers to the French language. So basically, we set up a new menu navigation for each of the custom languages. And that way we can customize the text and allow specific links to be added based on the language we are using. If we have a look at the website and give it a quick refresh, you can see the drop down option on the right for the user to select the language they want. So let's go ahead and add a quick one. So this time I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to create a main menu. So I'll call it main menu and I'll put an EN for English. I'm going to assign the main menu. So main navigation and I'm checking the EN US because that's the English one. I'm going to click main menu create. And now I'm just going to add a, uh, a page. I'm going to click this one home, add to menu. So now I have my home page and I'm going to put EN next to it. So I know that it's the English one just for this demo reference. Obviously you would keep this translation as normal in your own website. Click save, go back to my website and give it a refresh. So now we see we're in the English language and we have the home EN. So as you can see, it's English. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to give it a menu name. So I'm going to call it menu main menu and this time I'm going to call it ES for Spanish. I'm going to scroll down and select the main menu ES for Spanish and click create menu. 
No, I'm going to click on um, add pages. I'm going to add my home page, add new. Now I do not know what the translation for um, home is in Spanish. So I'm just going to put ES so I know that it's the Spanish version and click save menu. Again, I go to my website. Okay, now if I select the um, Spanish page, you can see now the home page is loaded and this would obviously have your Spanish translation and I can go back to my English one. As you can see, it's in English. So this way we can set up custom menu links for each of the languages and you repeat the same process for each of the languages. Okay, so we have a common question is how to disable or to turn off, for example, the top menu links here. I want to remove those. So let me show you how that's done. Again, we go back to the admin and under appearance menus. Now, if you assign a link to a menu bar, obviously the link will display. So if we switch to the top menu bar, the top links. So let's go top links and select this one. So we have blog and my test link, and that's the one we currently have. If I wanted to remove it and completely just hide this section here completely, all you need to do is remove the links from the menu. So by removing all of the links, okay, so if I save the menu, make sure that you've still assigned it to the top links. So basically you're telling the system that you want to apply this menu to the top links, but you have no menu items. By giving the page a refresh, you can now see the links have disappeared. So if you do want to remove certain links from the website, you can do it that way just by adding a blank menu and removing the link options. Now, when it comes to the basic menu, so again, this is the main navigation. If I switch to the main navigation, so let's go main navigation in English. Okay, if I remove the default links, so if I remove this one, for example, give it a refresh. Okay, we have the same option where you can blank out the entire menu. If I uncheck this box, so if I uncheck the main navigation, which means I have no menu assigned to the navigation, it's going to show the default menu bar for the WordPress themes. So this is the demo menu you get in the WordPress themes. So obviously if you want to change the demo menu, which is this menu here, you'd make sure you create a new menu and assign it to the main navigation. By assigning a menu to the main navigation, you're then telling the system that you want to use your own menu to replace this bar here. And obviously then you go ahead and select the menu items you want. Okay, so if you're on a mobile device or you've shrunk down the window, you'll see there's a, a fixed mobile menu at the bottom. So as you can see, we have the uh, home, the search, my account, and obviously the jump link then to the sidebar. If you want to change the icons and the text at the bottom here, let me show you how that's done. So let's go to the admin area of your WordPress website. We click on premium press, we click on settings, we scroll down and we click on menu. Now here is where you change all of the menu items. The top two links here are simply links to navigation. So this is a link straight back to the WordPress navigation. So if I open in a new link, you'll see it's a quick link that takes you straight back to the page we've just been using. If you scroll down, you can see we have the options. You can turn off the bar completely, which means it'll just display the footer for your website instead. Assuming you want to leave it on, here we can change the icon. So you can set your own icon. So if we just click it, set an icon, so do test and then you set the link that you want for each of the links so let's save the changes if we go back to the front of my website okay let's shrink the page and you can see now on the bottom we have the test the new icon and obviously the links that you want so that's how you change the mobile menu and the sub menu options for your premium press website